So welcome back. Now that we've made our R2D2 center foot, we're going to go ahead and doing the last bits of the small details that exist on this model, and that's going to be towards the head, those little uh, viewers, or I don't know what you want to call them. So let's go ahead and start by constructing one of those inside. So we will take this head and hide it, H, since we don't need it. So we're going to use this one right here to get the dimensions of it. Of course, it's in a different angle, but we'll go ahead and model it from the front to get the dimensions, and then we'll focus on all adjusting it afterwards. So now that we have it like this, I'm going to hit Shift A, as always, and go to Cylinder. As you can see, my cylinder is in the wrong orientation. So I'm going to go ahead, let's see, 90 degrees, is it this one? Yes, 90 degrees. I think 8 for this one is enough based on the size. You know what, maybe 10 just to give it a little bit more good roundness. That's good. And then I am going to take down the radius of this. Yeah. And the location, let's go take do, take the height. Align it to sort of how it should be. There it is. And that's probably a good place to go ahead and get started with when it comes to this. Cool. So now that we have that all set up, we're going to go ahead and just uh, fix this from the side perspective. Because as, I, as you can see, it's much too long. So we're going to go into the side perspective. And we're going to go into edit mode. As you can see now, the options have disappeared. So what's in once it's inside perspective, I'm going to hit Alt-C. So I can go ahead and see this transparent. Sorry, I'm looking at my watch. And then after I hit Alt-C, I'm going to take this row right here. I'm going to slide it down to here. I'm going to take this one right here, slide it down to here. As you can see, that's sort of the shape we're going for. I'm not going for crazy details, so I'm going to do it as best as I can. So what am I going to do? So first things first, I'm going to go to press 2 and go to edge mode, select all of these, make sure it's selected. Good. Yes, it is. And then I'm going to go make a loop cut, one here, here as well. And then I'm going to take these elements, press 1, go to vertex mode, select this, scale it down. This one, scale that down, and as you can see, let's see this one, scale it down, and I think that's okay. That sort of has that basic R two D two shape that I'm looking for. So let's go ahead to make this easier on me say right click on the object set origin to geometry so now it's more or less centered with the geometry as it should be and let's go ahead and fix the smoothing groups before we actually start making duplicates of this so we're, we're going to go ahead and turn this to the side view and in edit mode i'm going to hit three to go to faces and let's see which ones are the best ones to fix this is always tricky when it's unity or it's blender so this one right here this one right here these two Let's say right click shade smooth. Ah, oh, fuck it, you're gonna have to do it for all of it. Oh well, it doesn't matter. It's gonna have to just look a little like this. So take this one, shade smooth. So as you can see, now we have that little whatever the hell that is on R2D2's element. And again, for efficiency, now we wanna go ahead and delete the back face. So select this, X faces, it's gone, good. And then we're gonna go and exit edit mode and hit Alt H to unhide the head. So now that we've done that, we're going to go into the top view because that's where we're going to do some of the adjustments to R2D2's little uh, whatever the hell this element is. Now you see I missed some of that. So X-ray, edit mode. Oh, sometimes Unity, you annoy me. Smooth, cool. 
and then okay so now we're gonna exit that so now as you can see we have whatever that little element you want to call it so I'm gonna go to the top view x-ray mode exit that and just sort of take it in adjustment to adjust it to where it is And let's see how this looks in relation to the model. As you can see, it's not quite in the right placement, so we're just going to bring it a little forward. And then, as you can see, now we have the first little element to R2D2, hopefully placed correctly. Let's see how it looks in the front. Now, sadly, the placements off so you move it in relation to the front like this and is it a good lining no it's not so I'm gonna take this rotate a little bit more and then just move it directly onto the mesh cool not too bad let's see how it looks in the front Good enough. Cool. So now that we have this little element, we're going to go ahead and duplicate this several times. And let's see, how are we going to duplicate this? Go ahead and do the top view. You know what? Let's go to the side view. And we're going to take one copy of it. So I'm going to go to object mode to edit. While I hover it, I press L. And then I do shift D. And then you have to pick which axis. I believe it's X. So as you can see here, it is cool. And then when I've selected it there, I'm going to go to the top view and take that element, rotate it, and move it to the right location, just right around there. And I believe they have one more on top now, which we're going to go ahead and do as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do, when I have it here, the whole element, Shift D, and then Z. It's going to take it upwards. And once I have there, I'm going to bring it up here, here. And I'm going to rotate it so it kind of lines up at this point. And this one right here probably could use a slight more and let's see how this looks from the top to make sure it's kind of the right place ah that's why okay makes sense now so this one right here L nope sorry L Now, you know what, I shouldn't move that, I'm getting confused. I think my reference is probably, that was my issue. My, this one right here, shift, mode. Rotation was a bit off. If I'm being honest, the whole reference is a bit off. Go to the front, Let's see. And as you can see right here, we hit L on this one. L, no, sorry, wrong edit mode. Click on the right one, hit it. Click on this one, hiss, sorry. Edit mode, L, and take it and move it. 
So now that that's been moved to that orientation, let's see how that adjusts. As you can see you're going to probably need to do some adjustments and such, so the best way to do that is from this perspective, I think. And I'm going to rotate it into that orientation, and So, as you can see, this is not, I'm not exactly trying to be super accurate when it comes to this. I'm just sort of doing it quick and dirty. So you kind of get an idea of how is it you're going to create some of these meshes and get some of these elements. So now that that's created, that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and exit edit mode. I'm going to go to object and I'm going to go hit shift. And I'm going to do control J to, ah, that's weird. I must have made a du duplicate over it somehow. Let's go ahead and delete this. X, delete. And then as you can see now, I have r 2 d head. I'm going to set the origin to geometry, so it's more or less rough in the center. And as you can see now, we have the main center of the main part of r 2 d head. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And I'm going to go ahead and put a stop to this video and then I'm going to go towards the last part which is going to be duplicating the other leg and optimizing and such.